Let's get trashed. You guys know how much I love Disney on ice. I love going to every single one of the shows. I just checked out the new Encanto one. Not too long ago, we saw Into the Magic and then something amazing happened. I got invited by Disney on ice to come see a show coming local to my area, Allentown, PA. Not only do they invite me, I also get to interview some of the performers out on the ice during their warmup. How did this magical opportunity fall in my lap? Well, that's a funny story, but more on that later. For now, what are we doing waiting here? Let's go! Backstage, just about to go in. Just doing a test of my new Bob Barker mic. Feld Entertainment started working and producing shows with Disney in 1981. Since then, they have toured all around the world to more than 545 cities and 40 different languages to over 320 million guests. But the true heart and soul of the production can be found with the amazing performers. Not only are they incredible athletes, but amazing storytellers as well. In all honesty, I was just having a blast watching them warm up and practice their routines. It was really cool being in the room with them. Wow. <laughs> so let's meet our guest. I'm here with Alejandro from Disney on Ice. Tell me, how long have you been skating and how long have you been with Disney on Ice? Well, I've been skating for 15 years and oh. this is my fourth year with Disney on Ice. Amazing. Have you been cel let's celebrating the whole time? We are celebrating the legacy of Walt Disney and remembering how everything started with a mouse and a lot of magic. Oh my gosh. This Disney on Ice is like an extension of all Disney magic. Have there been any like really wonderful magical moments on tour for you so far as you've been out and about for these past four years? Yeah, you know, every performance is very, very special to me and to my um, co-workers, the, other, the rest of the cast. Seeing the reaction of the kids, the parents, the, the young in heart, yes. uh, when they see their favorite Disney characters come to life face to face in their hometowns, is such a magical experience. So every show is very, very special. My favorite part about coming to Disney on Ice are the moments where all the kids just start singing together like a large chorus. Is it is it the same songs that they belt every show at every city, or do different cities sing different songs? You ever surprised at like what's what like certain audiences sing over other audiences? Well, you know, um, Let It Go is a kid's favorite. Oh, of course. Yes, but also the Lion King, uh, Hakuna Matata. Oh yeah. The Circle of Life. Yes. So we have all these stories. We have from the classics to the most modern. We have from Pinocchio. Cinderella, Snow White, Beauty and the Beast, and then we also have Finding Dory, Toy Story 4, You've Got a Friend in Me, um, The Lion King. So definitely there's something for every member of the family and yeah, we can hear everyone singing different songs. <laughs> I watched my first Disney on Ice show 20 years ago. And what? That Which day, one was it? Was, Which one was it? It was Princess Classics in Mexico City. Whoa! Okay. My parents took me for my birthday and it was I very love special. That. And that's when I said I need to learn how to skate and do this. So now yes. here I am 20 years later sharing the eyes with all these beautiful and fantastic characters that I, that I grew up with. Yeah. And yeah, I portray the role of Buzz Lightyear. So. No way, do you? Yeah. To infinity and beyond, bro. I'm so excited. I love what Disney on Ice has done with the Buzz Lightyear costume. We've, I've done videos on it. We've gone through the whole history of Buzz. And that costume is so wild. That's amazing. What's it like transitioning storytelling in huge costumes like a Buzz Lightyear? Is there a learning curve to that? And our costumes are are properly fitted so they're you know right they're made by people yeah. who know what skaters need yeah. on the ice yes we have a very um a big and very uh good wardrobe team that travels with us and also travel around the world to get inspired and bring the best of the world to um, to disney on ice to make these costume pieces so yeah shout out to the wardrobe team how I ended up here is wild. I took my kids to go see a hockey show because they were singing the national anthem as part of their school group. And I don't know how, but ended up getting pulled up to be one of the game show contestants at sporting games. You know how like the Jumbotron has like games they play with people and they give them like, you know, hot dogs or like t-shirts. Well, I did that. I did, are you smarter than a fifth grader? And I won, I won three tickets to the Trans-Siberian Orchestra at 3 p.m., which I did not go to because 
because I am not an elderly person, but because they introduced me as Lehigh Valley YouTube sensation Disney Dan, it caught the attention of the marketing people at the PPL Center, and they emailed me asking if I'd like to partner up with Disney on Ice. It's wild. <laughs> All right, so what do you think of these seats? These seats are incredible, thanks Disney on Ice. What's so great about seats like this is that there's so much choreographed action that happens on the sides of the stage, like in areas like this. We're gonna get really great close-ups of a lot of costumes. A lot of stuff happens right down here. Happens uh, right down here. <laughs> what character are you looking most forward to seeing? The answer is Forky, obviously. Let's get trashed. <laughs> but you know what? We got like cats, kind of like characters for the Lion King, which are like, they're wild, they're wild. The costumes we're about to get, oh, it's starting. And the show starts with this really unique marching band theme and costumes, like it's the ultimate hype show. And of course, Mickey is the band leader and he comes out accompanied by Minnie. I really like both of these outfits here. They're nothing too crazy, but they're covered in glitzy glam. And this is just the beginning of a taste of the background performers who, in my opinion, really steal the show throughout. But now we get to the main objective of the show. Goofy and Donald are making a movie, so they need to learn about storytelling or get a preview of some of the best Disney stories ever told. I, I, I'm not exactly sure. It's a strange collection of stories that they decided to visit here, but I honestly love all of them. We immediately launch into a Pinocchio segment. Just a quick abridged song, and I really like the background performers. Like, there's a bunch of wind-up toy performers, and is that a unicycle on ice? That's, that, how is that even possible? That defies physics. And then we go under the sea, but not that part of the sea, the other part of the sea, where it's full of forgetful fish, like our friend Dory. And of course we see Alejandro, our special guest, performing as Marlin. Look how great he is. Now my favorite part of the Finding Dory segment, Crush, it's the Crush Zamboni. Everyone's riding it, everyone's having a great time. It looks tired uh, whenever it's just on the ice, not moving, it just looks like it's taking a nap. Like a dad, he's a dad. He's a dad of all these turtles. Look at all these turtles he has to account for. I'd be exhausted too. These baby turtles, they're amazing. They're like the stars of the segment. Look at that, like the headpieces with the eyeballs on them. Ooh, I love it. And of course, Squirt, he looks a little different. He's like brownish, while the other ones are all bright green and shiny. What I love about these fish costumes though, is the tight forearm mo movements. They're, al they're always rocking their forearms, making their fins look like they're always flapping. I love that. I love that. They're always, they, they're just always underwater. It's such a cool costume design. And then it's off to Beauty and the Beast, a staple with Disney on ice. Once again, these seats were so great. The performers play a lot to the edges of the ice. Doesn't matter where you sit, you're gonna find something on the ice for you to be like blown away by. There's gonna be some action nearby you, no matter what, I promise. And of course, it wouldn't be a Beauty and the Beast segment without the beast getting stabbed and transformed. And I love that. Belle, it's me. <laughs> Always a great transformation, that beast. I love that transformation. And then we're treated to an onslaught of princesses and princes. I'm not kidding. There was one after another after another. They got everyone into this segment. It's a perfect blend of old and new throughout. They just keep coming. I love it. It was amazing. And some of these like high-end fancy duet maneuvers they were doing, it's like stuff you only see in the Olympics. Now, where do we go from here, from this beautiful princess montage? There's only one place to go. Arendelle, of course, the big Disney mega hit, Frozen, just Frozen 1, which of course is in every single Disney on Ice show I have seen over the past like four to five years. Every single Disney on Ice show has a Frozen segment with most of the exact same costumes because it sells, everyone loves it. 
The segment showcases a lot of the beats. Love is an open door. There's snow. There's Kristoff. Elsa's transformation. We get let it go. The ice stairs. Olaf. Olaf's head. <laughs> the summer song. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. And then, of course, the Frozen Sisters, all culminating in this beautiful Frozen segment. I began to notice stuff that I just completely overlooked before because this is like the sixth time I've seen this bit. Like the amazing background performers. Oh my gosh. The Frozen background performers were the best part of the Frozen segment. God bless the ensemble. You know what? Ensemble, you work it. Your ability to tell stories is just unmatched. Please the guy no carrying the plates man. was telling a story. He's captivated. <laughs> this guy, he's just like, should I go over here? Where, 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 how do I get back into the castle, guys? Does anybody know where there's a door? Oh, you know what? Uh, oh, here's one. <laughs> What's amazing about the ensemble is their ability to tell their stories without distracting from the main events on the stage. It wasn't until my fourth or fifth time seeing this Frozen segment that I began to look past Elsa and Anna and begin to obsess about the citizens of Arendelle. The ensemble truly made this show. So take a couple moments and opportunities to appreciate these performers the next time you're out on Disney and Ice. Now, of course, we head to a brief intermission where I grab a bunch of great stuff for the set. And then, act two, we are just presented with an endless stream of genies. Just, just all the genies that you could have thought could have existed do now on ice. <laughs> it's something I was completely unprepared for, but I am truly grateful for it because these genies all worked it. My gosh, look at them. So many genies. The audience went bananas for him. It was a highlight of the show for Kenny and I. And you know, millennial, this, this show has a lot of millennial energy. And then the moment finally came. Next up was the costume I was most excited for, or perhaps most afraid of. There it is. Oh God. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, but don't worry, it's Woody, Jesse, and Buzz to the rescue! Hey, there's my boy Alejandro! What's up, dude? He's looking so great in that Buzz Lightyear costume. I love this little segment. It has some great music and some great uh, combined choreography between the three of them. They were all skating down the ice, doing all kinds of fun little uh, hoedown dances. Look at him! Look at him go! I've already made a videos on both the evolution of Woody and Buzz, and for the most part, their costumes on ice just work here, especially for the full face characters. Some light accents on the face, it really sells, it really delivers, unlike a lot of full face characters we've had in the past. Not naming any names though. Mr. Incredible. <laughs> I was so here for Forky's existential crisis on mortality. My gosh, this costume is just pure chaos. I love it. Look at the feet. Look at those tiny little popsicle sticks. And Forky blew me a kiss. He knew I loved his costume. We had this moment together, him and I. The next segment on ice is the Mulan segment. The original animated Mulan, of course. She sings, she skates, she's gorgeous. And then we have this whole West Side Story dance off with the Huns in the snow. I loved it. And boy, the avalanche bedsheet really, you know, closed out the whole plot and uh, nothing but celebrations. What's weird is I could totally see the Huns underneath this dragon and it gave me a lot of anxiety. It's like, oh no, they're gonna jump out. They're gonna ambush them, but they didn't. getting arguably the loudest reaction from the crowd that night, the Lion King. Rafiki rolls out there with his big old danger stick and he just starts singing the circle of life. And then of course he summoned Timon and Pumbaa. And uh, boy, I, I don't think you are ready for Pumbaa, but here you go. Uh, I can, oh. You can actually hear Kenny when Pumbaa comes out, Kenny yells in shock, 
oh. <laughs> and we were all feeling it because it's a wild costume. It's a guy on all fours with a giant plush Pumbaa thing on his back. And he's just riding around blind, it feels like. This is a, this is a wild costume, man. He's so short and pudgy, it makes me so uncomfortable. It's tiny, but somehow big at the same time. I don't know, this is just breaking my brain. When a little furry bowling ball on skates comes flying full steam at the edge of the stage, you don't know what's gonna happen. Is he gonna, is he gonna hit me? Is he gonna roll into me? Is he just gonna fart in my general direction? I'm not exactly sure, he's a warthog. Boy, oh boy, it gets even better because Simba and Nala then come out in these cat-like skin-tight suits. And then we get a little National Geographic with the choreography. Kenny and I came to Disney on Ice as boys and we left as men, thanks to this stunning performance. He just, he just picks her up and throws her around. It's crazy. Kenny, show Pumba one more time. I can't get enough of this little guy, this big, this big guy. I can't tell what size he is, just show him. Let the people see him one more time. The finale was wild. The whole cast comes out for one last skate around the show. All the costumes, they do this wild princess like carousel thing in the middle of the ice where they all pick up the princesses and like do like a, a swirly round. That blew my mind when they did it. I'm sure it has a technical name. I don't know what it is. And then of course, for whatever reason, Pumbaa ended up right back next to us again, staring into my soul. And you know what? I stared right back into his. And of course, one last Forky. Forky, 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 I love him. And that's it for Disney on Ice's Let's Celebrate. Boy, oh boy, what a great time I had. Oh, I love Disney on Ice. And we'll sing up. Scott Lane, your costumes, they were inspired tonight. I love the baby turtles. I love so much of it. The hardest working man in American theater, right here. The person inside this thing. Ah, here we are back in the studio where it's nice and warm. It's chilly up there on the ice. Man, oh man, what a great show. Disney on ice, let's celebrate. I gotta give this one like a 9.5 out of 10, honestly. It had things for the millennials. It had things for the children. It had things for everybody. Forky. I, I know. Did anyone think they could possibly have done this with a Spork character, brought him to life like this? No, it's amazing. You don't see them doing it at the parks. This is the only place you can see an anthropomorphic Forky. So come on down, Disney on Ice. Of course, you guys know that I love going to Disney on Ice shows, but this was a whole new experience. For the first time, I got to talk to one of the performers that actually was out there on the ice. It was a really cool experience, and hopefully in the future, I get to do that more with other touring shows. There are so many amazing touring shows out there. Let me know in the comments right now what shows are touring that you want me to go see and hang out with the characters, because I'll, I'll do it. I'll chase them all down, guys. Of course, don't forget to find us on all of the holy social media channels, such as TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and of course, our vlog, Please Stop Vlogging, where you can find lots of Kenny and I's adventures. Kenny, will there be an ice skating vlog or did all the footage go into this video? Okay, great, great. There's a whole lot more. And of course, there's a lava lamp video we did, guys. I got like 20 lava lamps. It was wild. You gotta go watch the vlog. It was, it's one of a kind. Lots of good laughs in there, I promise. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. As always, you rock. So one last thing we do on my channel is something called the, instead of a meet and greet, I like to do the meet and eat. And so since you're here as a guest in the Lehigh Valley, I don't know if you're familiar with Peeps. Have you heard of Marshmallow Peeps? I got you, I got you, I got you guys a small package. These are world renowned small marshmallow Peeps. They're made like just out back. I don't even heard of Mike and Nikes or like I'm hot tamales. Easter time. Yeah. So the so this they're they're in grocery stores all year round around here because they make them out back. Would you share one with me? Would you uh, would you sure. take would you take would you share a peep with me? Oh sure. Amazing. I also got you because Hershey. We're in Pennsylvania. I don't know if you had any Hershey chocolate. 
but oh, yeah. this is just a little Pennsylvania snack pack. So if you can Thank maybe you so meet much. and eat with us, and then I'll let you go make magic for for the masses. Can we can we cheers? Cheers to infinity and beyond. To infinity and beyond. Yes. <laughs> Gluten free, fat free, just marshmallow. <laughs> it's just sugar, folks. Thank you yeah. so much. No, of course. I really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you so much for coming in and come see Disney and Ice Presents Let's Celebrate at the PPL Center. Get your tickets at DisneyandIce.com. But also everywhere. It's going all over the place. DisneyandIce.com. Find it. Find a show near you. There's so many magical ones. We're going to be sitting right over here, I think. So <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. You so I really much. appreciate it.